a female reproductive system. It consists of two ovary and one uterus. Each ovary is connected to uterus by fallopian tube. We will discuss about ovary. Since ovary is the organ where the secondary oocyte or egg is developed. Secondary oocyte or egg is a female gamete which carry mother's genetic material. Secondary oocyte is developed inside a follicle in the ovary. So within follicle, oocyte will develop from primary oocyte into secondary oocyte. At ovulation, the secondary oocyte will be released from the ovary into the fallopian tube. Secondary oocyte consists of corona radiata, the outer layer of the egg, zona pellucida, the second layer, and then plasma membrane, and inside the plasma membrane is cytoplasm. In the cytoplasm, there are many cortical granules located near the plasma membrane and also nucleus. Corona radiata consists of many cells known as granulosa cells. Granulosa cells supply nutrient for the development of the egg. Zona pellucida is a jelly-like coat which protecting the egg. Nucleus is where the chromosomes or the mother's genetic material is located. Cortical granule is a small vesicle containing enzyme which will harden the zona pellucida to prevent entry of more than one sperm or to prevent polyspermy. We will discuss more about this in fertilization process. So this is a structure of secondary oocyte, a female gamete. The secondary oocyte is produced in a process known as oogenesis. Oogenesis is a process to produce secondary oocyte in ovary. The first stage of oogenesis is already occur during embryo stage. Embryo is one of the stage of fetal development in the mother's womb during pregnancy. In the ovary of embryo, there are many primordial germ cells which are diploid. These primordial germ cells will undergo differentiation forming orgonium. Orgonium will undergo mitosis and differentiation forming primary oocyte, also diploid cell. The primary oocyte will undergo meiosis 1 but arrested at profess 1. So, development of primary oocyte from primordial germ cells by this process occur before birth or during embryo until birth inside the primordial follicle of ovary. At birth, the baby girl will already have a particular stock or an amount of primary oocyte arrested at profess 1 in her ovary. The primary oocyte which arrested at profess 1 will remain in this stage in the ovary until childhood or before puberty. So once the girl reach puberty, the primary oocyte will continue and complete the meiosis 1 producing a haploid first polar body and a haploid secondary oocyte. The secondary oocyte will continue with meiosis 2 but arrested at metaphase 2. The secondary oocyte will then will release from the ovary into the fallopian tube by the process of ovulation and in the fallopian tube if the secondary oocyte is fertilized by a sperm the secondary oocyte complete the meiosis 2 and produce a haploid second polar body and a haploid ovum so once meiosis 2 is complete ovum will be produced and only occur after fertilization by a sperm at the same time the first polar body will divide to form two haploid second polar body but this process may occur or may not occur so what happened to the second polar body all the second polar body will be degenerate and the ovum will develop into zygote embryo and then fetus so what happened if there is no fertilization by a sperm occur to the secondary oocyte the secondary oocyte will degenerate and then discharge from the uterus during menstruation so start from puberty until menopause the primary oocyte will develop into secondary oocyte and continue to ovum if fertilization occur menopause is a stage where a woman will not have menstruation anymore it means that at a particular age Women will stop having menstrual cycle or menstruation and at this phase there will be no development of secondary oocyte from primary oocyte means that the woman 
also will stop producing egg. It is because all the primary oocyte inside the ovary are already used. Since at birth, the baby girl carry a particular number of primary oocyte. So, it means that once all the primary oocytes are used, women will stop producing egg. If we compare the spermatogenesis and oogenesis, in spermatogenesis, sperm will be produced until the men die because in the seminiferous tubule of testes, there will be always stock of spermatogonium. But in oogenesis, the stock of primary oocyte is limited. So that's why once all the primary oocyte used and finished, production of egg will be stopped.